statement m is there is no physics student who is not intelligent statement n is every chemistry student studies physics using these two statements which of the following is a valid conclusion so one of the four options here is a valid conclusion based on these two statements the question wants us to select that option let's read the statements again the first statement is there is no physics student who is not intelligent the second statement is every chemistry student studies physics if we look at these two statements we can see that there are three groups of students we have intelligence students physics students and chemistry students i'll use the letter i to represent intelligence students the letter p to represent physics students and the letter c to represent chemistry students the first statement is there is no physics student who is not intelligent what it means is that if someone is a physics student it means that the person is intelligent so if someone belongs to p it implies that the person also belongs to i if someone studies physics it implies that the person is intelligent that is the first statement the second statement is every chemistry student studies physics i use c to represent chemistry students and p to represent physics students every chemistry student studies physics so it means that if someone belongs to c it implies that the person belongs to p so c implies p so based on these two statements we have been able to establish that p implies i and c implies p if c implies p and p implies i then one valid conclusion we can draw is that c implies i remember that c represents students who study chemistry and i represents students who are intelligent so if c implies i then it means that all chemistry students are intelligent when we look through the options we can see that that conclusion is b all chemistry students are intelligent this is the valid conclusion we can draw from these two statements